Hey everybody, greetings for the day and welcome to our learning journey. I'm so happy and glad to meet you all. Hello everyone. If you are watching this for the very first time, so you can subscribe to our channel and you can share it with your friends and family members. So in today's topic of discussion, we're going to be exploring colors for our children. Why is it so important to introduce colors at the very early ages? We're also going to be talking about what are the alternative ways to explore colors and how do we bring the color conceptions into our preschool learnings and how colors can effectively help our children to stimulate their young minds. So first of all, why should we be introducing colors early? See, one of the researchers say that, you know, one of the most earliest things that the babies would react is to colors. Even newborns, when they have not under, when they have even have got this underdeveloped sense of sight, newborns will be able to perceive bold colors very well, especially black and red. They're able to be recognizable by the newborn babies. Even if sometimes if you're not able to read books to our little ones, you know, the newborns especially, you would be still able to incorporate some strong colors. How do you bring in those strong colors into your environment? It could be through their uh, clothing or it could be through their toys also. So every time that you're introducing these colors, we always... Um, you know, talk about those colors. Uh, okay, let, let me wear you a red t-shirt. Let's wear yellow shoes. Let's wear a pink jacket. This is how you start working on the other alternative ways to explore. As in when your newborn is growing and becoming a toddler or a preschooler, sometimes what happens, we start working with the books for children, right? So books can also act as a color substitution. And to make pictures much more brighter and interesting, we use a lot of picture conceptions. Sometimes what we do is like uh, we can choose books which are fictitious, right? So, for example, in case if I'm giving a coloring sheet for a child uh, and, and the picture is duck, the child might want to be coloring the duck with purple or the child might even uh, choose to color it red. It's absolutely okay. Because the child is seeing the duck as red or the child, some children might color the penguin purple. Some children might color the sky pink, right? So you see the differences because the child is not able to have the comparison between what is real and what it is not, right? So it's very important that we provide that stimulation for the young minds because every time you encourage comparisons between what's real and what is not, that is when the child will be able to learn beyond. So until the age of six and even few years beyond, it's common for children to have trouble, you know, discriminating between the facts and the fictions. So these colorful books can actually help them to make those beginning distinctions between what's real and what isn't. For instance, if there is an orange tree with a purple trunk, okay, so you can always talk and you can initiate the conversation. Oh my, look at that tree. It's orange and the trunk of the tree is purple. And do you have trees outside which look similar to this? And the children will be like, ma'am, they might be. Or ma'am, no, we have not seen it, right? So this is especially very, very effective with toddlers and slightly the bigger kids. So that's the reason exploring alternative colors is very, very essential for all of us. And we need to do lessons which will help our children to bring on these colors. So an introduction to colors is very, very vital to a healthy development, uh, especially to the young mind stimulations also. So the earlier you introduce, it becomes easy and it becomes very, very essential for all of them. And it has great impact of their learning. So by providing range of stimulus, it helps the children to work. So coloring books or the story books, which has great amount of coloring can actually be helpful for you. So in today's segment, I'm going to be uh, reciting or I'm going to be narrating a story which is on colors. Let's take a look. The name of the story is called Scat the Cat. Here are Scat, the little cat, does not like his color and he decides to change his colors. And how can you do that? Do you think that anybody has that magical power to change colors? Now I'm wearing a red jacket in case if I don't like it and I want it to be made green, I need to have those magical powers, right? Only then I would be able to do. So here is our cat. He's our cat. His name is Scat and he's black. But he did not like his own color and he starts changing the colors. So we take this story as a baseline and we introduce colors in our classes. You can take any stories and you could encourage uh, you know, having 
uh, children learn about the colors. Okay, so the child would also get an understanding about it. So let's listen to the story. Scat the cat. Here we go. Once there was a little black cat. He was a magical cat because he could change his colors just like that. And all he had to say was, I am Scat the Cat. I am sassy and fat and I can change my colors just like that. One day, Scat decided he was tired of being black. He didn't want to be black anymore and he wanted a new color. So he said his magical words. I am Scat the Cat. I'm sassy and fat and I can change my colors just like that. And he changed blue. Scat went down to a pond to look at himself in the water. Unfortunately, he fell in and he couldn't swim. Timmy Turtle came along and helped Scat get back on shore. Scat decided he didn't want to be blue anymore. So he said his magical words, I am Scat the Cat, I'm sassy and fat, and I can change my colors just like that. And he changed red. He went walking down the street and everybody started laughing at him. Whoever heard of a red cat, they said. Scat decided he didn't want to be red anymore. So he said his magical words. I am Scat the Cat. I'm sassy and fat and I can change my colors just like that. And he changed yellow. Scat went walking in the woods. And who did he run into? But it was his cousin, Leo the Lion. Brrr, roared the Leo. I am the only cat who can be yellow. Scat decided he better not be yellow anymore. He quickly said, I am Scat the cat. I am sassy and fat and I can change my color just like that. And he changed green. Scat wanted to play with his brothers and sisters in the grass. He tried to play with them, but he was green like the grass and he couldn't see him. Scat decided he didn't want to be blue or red or yellow or green. So he said, I am Scat the Cat. I am sassy and fat and I can change my colors just like that. And he changed to his own color black. Scat knew that being himself was the best thing to be. And do you know what? Being yourself is the best thing you can be too. Because there's nobody else exactly like you. And I like you just the way you are. What is the best line that you like from this? I liked, I like you just the way you are. And being yourself is the best thing you can be too. So what's your adaptation? Have children discuss what makes them unique and special and share in the comment section below. I would love to hear your stories with your children. Thank you for listening to me. Have a great story time with your children. Happy learning.